Thank you so much to Card Market for sponsoring today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to a new video here on my YouTube channel. My name is Filipa and today I'm going to be playing Standard Best of One with Golgari Obliterator Fight. And if you know me, you know I love this deck, it is the most evil. So just play this if you do not feel bad about your opponents crying at night because this is so mean. Um, just kidding, but I really love this deck and I am really excited to play it. I updated with Dustmorn cards and I feel like actually there's a lot of new uh, this morning cards that make this deck more and more consistent obliterator being kind of a, like a final kick combo that your opponent is not expecting uh, so i'm really excited to try out this list we are playing three cut downs two duresses four tail swipe which is an instant speed just one mana fighting and usually what you want to do is fight obliterator with big spells that your opponent control like big creatures that way they have to sacrifice creatures equal to the power of the creature that fight an obliterator if that makes sense so if they have an atraxa it's a seven seven you fight your obliterator with the atraxa and your opponent has to sacrifice seven permanents i hope that made sense but that's how you get them uh, then we are playing four go for Throats, four Dread Knights, three Slasher. Slasher being one of those cards from Duskmorn that I I just have to say it's so difficult to deal with. I know that people are playing now Anointed with Affliction. I am not, but it's a consideration if you are facing a lot of these unstoppable Slasher decks. That might be actually a great card because it's exiling. It's also good against Mono Red. So just feel free to instead of four go for throat put two anointed with infliction and two go for throats that would also work out well in this meta we have two liliana of the veil two glissa sunslayer one children i i know Children is not the queen that she was before. You know, when Children got released, everyone was playing Children every day. It was the most annoying card of Standard. But since then, Standard has changed a lot. And now Children doesn't see nearly as much play. But here I am playing with one just to make a statement. Uh, we're playing obviously four obliterators, two deadly cover-ups, because sometimes a board wipe might be needed, and two overlord of the bale mark, usually to play it on the turn two and try to find something like the obliterator into your hand. We also have two virtue of persistence to deal mainly with those annoying mono red boros agra auras decks kind of thing and gain us some life for lands um this is almost a mono black list if you think about it uh so we are running a lot of ways to give us black we just have three forest but luckily golgari has a lot of dual lands we have blooming march lunar waste the restless cottage underground mortuary and then fable passage just keep in mind that some of these lands enter tapped so try to just navigate that well so you don't end up in positions where you cannot do anything for a turn because in this meta it is not possible if you like these videos and you're not subscribed please consider subscribing because i would really appreciate it there are going to be some sweet games in this video and uh, i don't know i don't want to spoil but the win rate is also pretty good so i hope you enjoy the video let's play some games 341 Trading has been an amazing partner of this channel for the past year, so I'm really excited to say that they will have a Black Friday sale that starts on Wednesday, November 27th. Their online store has a fantastic selection of high-end magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and old-school players. You can sign up on the website to be the first to know when their Black Friday promotion starts and when new sale items go online. Make sure to check the link in my description box. I go first, so I keep it. Love it. Let's actually start with the Restless Kotash. Oh, it's another Gulgari Enjoyer. I feel like card advantage might be important. Speaking of which... Let's dry our deck a little bit. They will kill Shieldred, but... Hopefully they do something that I can obliterate traitors tail swipe. I mean, if they do eventually the Shambar. Or if they do their own children, that would be good. 
play, yeah, big creature. Ho ho! Oh ho 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 ho! Let's sweep mine so it also kills the dross. Still got it. Okay, so we go first. Oh, okay. It's not the best, but I'm not saying no to Lily. It's not bad. I just wish I had maybe an obliterator. Elegant Parlor. Okay, so I think this is the um, token deck. Ooh, I love these planes. They're so cute. Oh. I guess it's something else. I'm so jealous, because look how cute these planes are. Like, I cannot get over it. Good game already, come on. Come on! Cake is so annoying. Let's pass the turn. I need a land. Okay, so they make a 1-1, one, one, they gain life. One top. I don't like that. So they clearly want to attack to make a toy. I might just go for throat the little rabbit. Just to avoid making more. That's fine. This gets back, I guess. With some counters on it. Not a carrot cake, though. Yeah, and I know that this 1-1 one -one doesn't seem like much, but it actually is, so... I'm going to kill it. I kinda need the land. You know what? Lily minus. Off you go. Again, like this deck doesn't do much if they don't have creatures. Okay, I guess they do that just because of the toy, that makes sense. They don't have cards to... Don't overthink. Just passing. That makes sense. Drawing some cards and all. Yeah. If I was you, I would not attack. 
that's a great one. fast. People don't like getting their permanent sacrifice, I discovered. GG. This is capable. Unfortunately, opponent goes first, but that's fine, I guess. Depending on what they're playing. Okay, let's keep it. that we'll keep it we kind of need lands oh okay i can go for throat but I'll keep it on top. I, I need land, but if I surveil these away, they'll know my plan and that it's not as good. And then this also allows me to know that I have the combo. I just need to execute it, I guess. That's a good one. So let's go for Lily. Lily minus. Let them sacrifice that I creator. If they want this to be a 4-5, it's not yet. Demolition Field does not scare me. Ooh, okay. I forgot this card even existed in Standard, to be honest. We did get land, which is great. They probably go for my Lily. I feel like I'm fine with that. You won't be outsmarting me. <sighs> I love Shieldred, but I have the potential if I get a land to do Obliterator fight next, so. And if they have a 4 4, that's going to be good. Unfortunately, Go for Throat doesn't do anything against them. Whatever. Luck favors the foolish after all. I feel like Slasher is better than playing Obliterator, because if they have removal, at least I can tail swipe one of the four fours. I can honestly not afford to be um, losing that much life. So if I need to, I will tail swipe. Also, if they have like something like um, exile spell from the, the land or something, I can tail swipe. This also dies, and then it returns to the battlefield. You can take all you want, opponent. I will let you think. Oh, feedback is a bit annoying. So bye bye, Billmark. So I will just block one of them. It dies, my slasher comes back. And if I get a land, I'm in a good spot, but I need. Ugh, I need it needed to be a black source, didn't it? So what I can do is just play this as a 3 2. And keep the go for throat.
I'll block with a Dread Knight here. I'll take four, I'll go to five. And then I will kill the Curator. They can do something, but it might just be the activation from the Curator. Oh, okay. So they have X proof, good to know. I'll grab a swamp. So I can do it now. They can exile my Dread Knight. I'm fine with that. Now we'll tail swipe. Will I? I mean, I'm not dead yet. I don't mind sh sh shumping with the Dread Knight, to be honest. Doesn't have trample, which is nice. A land, which is a bit unfortunate. I think I'm just going to pass here. I could deal a lot of damage, but now four damage is crucial because if they remove one of my creatures, I cannot take this damage. By the way, let me just see what that one mana was. Surge of Salvation. Okay. This card is played in other formats a lot. Think away. Hopefully they don't have a way to kill both my creatures. Okay, guess they don't. I feel like they might have this X-proof spell or whatever, so... That's a lot of damage. Do you have it or don't you? Everybody, everybody. I mean, I, it still dies, but sacrifice for permanent sounds good. So now they have to deal with all these just with 3 mana and a dream, I guess. I'm at 3 though, I need to be careful. But I'm attacking. I'll take an obliterator. GG. Nobody can stand the obliterator power. I go first. Uh, this is a bit weird, but I'll keep it. Let's get that card advantage. Okay, so get my cut down, I guess. No, I also have the rest, but I'm going for the slasher. I feel like the earlier that they have to deal with the slasher, the better for us. Hopefully they don't have any exile. Oh, damn it. Yeah, people have been playing anointed with affliction because of that. Let's start with the rest, see what they're hiding. Okay, so there's not a lot of choice. Is is it? Okay. Um. 
They don't really have removal, so... And why not? If they find removal... Okay, they didn't. Two, which is not that much, but I mean, the slasher is unstoppable. I kind of want to dry my deck. Let me think. One, two, three, four. I think I go all in. Like, I knew that they were going to do that, but I feel like I have to try my best to kill them before all these slashers go back. Because if they don't have a demon, they go to six. Okay, that's not a demon. But it does gain them life. Cut down doesn't do it. But it's still 9 damage, so... Unless I'm doing some math wrong... Let's go! Sometimes you gotta know when to be the aggressor. I go first, I keep it. I, I don't say no to a turn 1 duress. That's the thing, like, about me. That you gotta know. Turn 1 duress, I will not refuse. So let's see what they have. Okay, I got nothing, but good to know. I didn't even know this deck was a thing anymore. I feel like Gliss is pretty good against this deck. Trader is great eventually if I find a fight spell. This says destroy target enchantment, they don't have enchantment. I can remove the counters. Maybe I gain more by doing that. It's not bad. Oh, that's a good one. A lot of plus one plus ones. But these obliterators should put them in check for a little bit. Oh no, I cannot. I can next turn, but not now. 
Okay, maybe it's time for me to be a bit in the defensive. I don't even know. I guess the fight spell would be great. V2 of Persistent would be great. Deadly cover up would be fine. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of damage. Go for Throat, I guess, would be fine. No, that's a good one. They can do that. Okay, so that's also good. I cannot do both. So I can kill that. I feel like I have to do this, but I'm, I'm, I might just be dead. I think I'm just dead. Yeah, I'm just dead this way. I, I mean, anyway, I think I would just be dead. Because now they get the things from the grave and that's more than enough. Unless they don't attack, but I don't see why they wouldn't attack. And then if they don't attack, my only out would be to get a deadly cover-up. Yep, I even forgot Boros Convoke was still a deck. Okay. Sacrifice five permanents, I guess. Yeah, they just have to go for the lands now. And it's exacts. Damn it. No lands, but still kill me. GG. I go first and I will keep it. We have the combo, eventually. We have removal, we have slasher. All great cards. Do not duress me. And I told you, opponent. Well, at least they cannot make me discard my obliterator. Okay, so... They don't care about my combo. Do they have Lily or something? Oh, they're trying to combo. Yep, they are. I mean, they had to choose removal on top, maybe, or I don't know, if they are trying to combo the bot, okay, get, I guess that takes the tail swipe. I guess I could have gone for the Kotash. So they don't have a removal for my obliterator. They just take it. Okay. If they have a board wipe, then I just win with the Kutar show. Let's do this. Since obl obliterator has trampled, there's not a lot of things that they can have to get them out of this situation. Unless they can somehow combo, but I doubt it. Told ya. Doubt it. GG. Okay. Opponent goes first. I have V2, which is great. Deadly cover up, which can be great. Obliterator, which can also be great. So I will keep it. Oof. Give me a cut down. Although. Mm, 
Damn it. It give me, but I don't know if that it's that good. Sometimes you just gotta know what you wanna ask for. You know, Dread Knight is not bad, but I feel like against him, eh, it's not great. Okay, let's gain some life. Explain, opponent. Explain to me. Opponent goes first. Good for them. I will keep it. I mean, I have cut down, which is great. I have Shili, Obliterator. And my opponent is Mulligan to five? To five is quite low, I'm not going to lie, so we take those. Oh no, you know what this is. Kinda wanted to rest them. Okay, I guess we know what they have. Sh Shard made rescue just so good. So, that will be a 2 2 double striker. The trample does not matter. If I use the cut down to destroy the euro, take 2 damage or the mouse. I think I might just go for the mouse. We already have the combo, but it takes a bit. Hopefully they didn't find another... What's the name? Shardmaid's Rescue. It's okay. So we have the Gopher Throat, which is nice. And, and then Shieldred is going to be difficult for them to deal. And then I think Obliterator plus Tail Swap would just be the nail in the coffin. So I'm feeling pretty good. Although this, this deck sometimes goes wild out of nowhere. And they do have two Artfires hero. For someone playing an aggro deck home, Agro deco deck. My opponent is certainly very slow. I mean, they're taking their time. I don't know why. I mean, they have two cards in hand and two mana. Okay, so they don't have any spell. We know that. They might have another creature though. Shiro is just a difficult card for them to deal with. Shiro used, used to be the card that would just defeat aggro immediately. Today that's not really the case anymore because these aggro decks have become such a menace. But trust me, these once upon a time Shiro was the card. She was it. If you remember, you remember. Back in the day. When Phyrexia came out, Dominaria, or whatever, Shieldred was the queen. But she lost her crown, because these mice, they are pretty mighty. Oh no, that's actually really good for them. I, okay, I, I do have Lily, 
so it's not the end of the world, but still too much damage that I would like to not have to take. So they can actually do the damage to, sh to Lily, but I think they just go face. The thing is that if Shieldred survives, it starts gaining new life, and they really don't want that. Yeah. See? She's still that girl. You know I love Obliterator, but I have to say, this was actually really good. Like, Obliterator usually is good, but this was really good. I had great win rate, I went like 7-1, which is great. I feel like the deck is good, it performed well. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought. We did lose, I think, against Convoke, right? Uh, but that we couldn't do much, I believe, so I don't know, I feel like we... Uh, did well with this deck, so deck link is going to be in the description box. I think it's a fun deck if you do, do not want to play the normal mid-range Golgari, or you just don't want to play the mono black demons. This is kind of a in-between situation where you can still have a lot of fun and play something that is not uh, just meta and just every other deck out there. So feel free to use the deck list and try it for yourself. That's it for me. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!